So we just had the uh, first gathering after a, a bit of a painful uh, birthing process of the new Congress. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. And I have a new favorite congressman. Oh, big liar? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bingo! Oh, the best. Oh, the fucking best. Oh, uh, this is all right. So, do you guys have you heard about uh, Mr. or I should say <laughs> Representative George Santos? What? Fill me in. Okay, so uh, he very very narrowly. Fill me in. It's like all right, sit down. <laughs> I was gonna. Say, there's a lot to be filled in on because it's fucking incredible. Okay, and, and when I say that, keep in mind a terrible guy as far as his politics. I don't. He's he's a shithead. Yeah, I, and. If this turns out to be as nefarious as it seems in terms of like, is he a spy? Uh, then this is bad. If this is just simply the case of an idiot who lied his way into one of the most powerful branches of the United States government, <laughs> fucking kudos, because this is fucking hilarious. So he wins, uh, very narrowly defeats the the sitting Democrat in New York, uh, New York in Long Island, because which the is New yeah, it's Democratic the, parties terrible is terrible yeah it's one of those like when it happened Blew the layup uh, yeah for the whole country it's the yeah. easiest thing in the world and and now in their defense i will say this is the i believe the wealthiest district yes. yeah, in yeah. the state of new york it's long yeah. island it's the, we're talking gatsby like oyster bay it's a bunch of rich fucks so the fact the republican got in is less shocking than some of the places they lost but the new york democratic party complete garbage worthless <laughs> but this dude okay so he has he's got a historical uh distinction because he is the first <laughs> openly gay republican to ever win a seat in congress okay uh, oh, wait there's more oh there's okay. so much more <laughs> um it turns out also basically everything about his life is a lie. <laughs> yeah, he's also openly married to a woman. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So he was trying, like, what's trending? <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, do you want to keep? Do you want to keep going? Oh, oh, oh I, I got a whole article. Yeah. I was yeah, going to yeah. say, oh, by yeah. Los Angeles standards, that still counts as gay. Uh, right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so you can be married to a woman uh, and be gay. Oh, here. sure. <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, and be openly gay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so this is an article that came out today from the Intelligencer, and the the headline is incredible. Here's every single lie told by George Santos. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> oh man. This is from uh, Matt Steeb. So uh, since the New York Times revealed that George Santos was not quite the man he sold himself to voters, uh, it's been hard to track down exactly what is true about the incoming representative's life story. Is he broke or rich? Jewish or Catholic? Did his family members <laughs> die in the holocaust or 9-11 <laughs> that's my favorite <laughs> most often it's best to assume that the republican from long island has said about his life is bogus but in case you need to double check here's a guide to everything he made up about himself so first up santos whose parents immigrated from brazil says he attended horace mann school in the bronx uh during his first years of high school but had to leave the prestigious private academy in his senior year because quote my parents fell on hard times but a spokesperson for the school told cnn that there was no evidence he had ever attended <laughs> Uh, so this guy, I'm guessing right now, he's going to overcome a lot of obstacles on his way to the top. Sure. Oh, well, he's at the top. That's the best <laughs> part. It's like he's elected. He's there for two years at right. least. Were uh, the obstacles real? We don't know. <laughs> right, right. He overcame them. Later, he attained a high school equivalency diploma. Uh, so Santos claimed that he graduated with a degree in economics from Baruch College in 2010, which suggests that he would have made it through a four-year program in just he two lied years. about going to Baruch College. <laughs> but also, he can't do math. because His he's lies like, are so weird, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I, my parents had to take me out of the school in 2008, and then somehow two years later, I had a college degree from this like well, extremely. Well, you know, like you know when someone's lying and they make it too specific. As well, if that's... they're like obsessed with the details because like they think the details are going to make it seem unique enough to be true. Oh, yeah, God. Yeah. Oh, I watch so many. Like, who makes up Baruch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'd say like Yale or something. I know. <laughs> no one would bat an eye at Yale. Yeah. They're lying. I'd say Yale. They're going to find <laughs> out regardless. <laughs> Shoot for the moon. So uh, you'd never been there. And a biography of Santos on the National Republican Congressional Committee states that Santos also spent time at New York University. A claim NYU could not corroborate. <laughs> <laughs> Later, he told the New York Post that he, quote, didn't graduate from any institution of higher learning. So, again, padding the resume is yeah. cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Especially if you get away with it objectively cool yeah like ask basically anybody you know who's in a very high position like what did what did you lie about and yeah. the results will surprise you i also love the news media was like 
Can you believe you guys elected this liar? And it's like, you guys didn't say shit until he won. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. How, about, how about you research the guy? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm busy. <laughs> Y'all get a paycheck to do this yeah. shit. And then they're like, these dumb voters. I'm like, you told us he was gay. <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to go check. Like, what do we go up and like <laughs> kiss him and see if he recoils? <laughs> uh, well, his wife. Might I've done not my like research. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do the mom shit though. Oh, we're getting there. Oh, God. His, his his campaign so funny. his campaign bio states that he worked at Goldman Sachs and Citigroup, <laughs> but representatives for both companies told the Times they had no record of him ever working there. Mm-hmm. Uh, the lies weren't that hard to figure out. Sontag, I love that they just say that in the article. Yeah. Like, this was really a, a, actually, cursor, a, a two minute phone call. We actually Got just called a secretary with access to an Excel spreadsheet and we cracked this case. Oh, yeah. We just called the companies that fund our broadcast. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Santa said that he worked in city real estate's wing in the 2010s, although the bank sold off its asset management operation while he was still in high school. So, like, just very, very simple. When Santos first ran for Congress in 2020, he filed a disclosure showing a salary of $55,000 working as vice president at a business development company called LinkBridge, uh, where he said he introduced investors to hedge fund managers. Soon after that failed run, he started working at a Florida investment firm called Harbor City Capital, which is accused in 2021 by the SEC of being a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> So I like that he put a Ponzi scheme on the resume. Like, yeah, I'm Herbalife. <laughs> that actually makes him more qualified. Oh, really oh, oh yeah. Like especially, <laughs> well, especially at Long Island, where it's just, you know, a bunch of housewives running scams on each other. It, it resonates to me to be a really lazy liar. Just to <laughs> just be flying by the seat of your pants. That's what I'm saying is relatable about this. It's like, let's just see if they'll believe me that I, I went to Yale. I love, he lies like people used to lie, like, in the 18, like, before. Before the internet exists. Yeah. 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 <laughs> just like, none of this will ever catch up with me. I'll be gone by the time they figure this shit out. <laughs> but he did rely, I guess, like correctly on people's laziness to actually fact check. He's like, well, the guy has confidence. Well, you know? and again, I, I state again, he won. He did it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter that all this shit is coming out now. It's like, yeah, this still works. <laughs> So did, did you ever have that kid in like elementary school who just made up crazy lies to seem cool? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just it's like that guy. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Like yeah. The Your first brush like, with a pathological yeah, liar. I have, yeah. a, I have yeah. a pinball machine at my house. You guys <laughs> yeah. can't come over. My, so my yeah. parents. My don't favorite. Like that. It's the my girlfriend who lives in Canada thing. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite was a kid said that his dad was friends with David Justice and he would like come over <laughs> to his house and hang out. <laughs> 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 Which best baseball player name of all time. He didn't fuck with Stacker too. He was oh, smart. Speaking of, can I get another hit? Oh, that's, uh, that's, that's it, buddy. It's a, it's oh, empty. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this, is this is how me and Rivers <laughs> fell into the trap. Uh, you, see, you start getting tired. You're like, well, I guess energy drinks will solve this, right? Uh, <laughs> Santos wasn't accused of wrongdoing by authorities, and the next month he incorporated his own company called Devolder. In an interview with uh, Simifor, he said that he helped rich people buy expensive toys they wanted. If a client wanted to sell a plane or a boat, Santos would, quote, go out there within my Rolodex and be like, hey, are you looking for a plane? Are you looking for a boat? I just put feelers out there. And within six months, he claimed to have landed a couple million dollar contracts. God, you got to believe in yourself. You know what I mean? (laughs) Grind set. (laughs) Grind set. (laughs) So his financial disclosures say that he made between 3.5 and 11 million from the company before it was dissolved last year. Uh, What a disgusting scumbag. Yeah, well, if I but that's the thing. Uh, so he said he worked the door of the store. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Hey, you know, but not everyone is buying the story that Santos earned his money how he said he did. As the Times note, Devolder had no public website or LinkedIn page, <laughs> and on his you camp- have a grinder page. <laughs> 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 uh, his uh, campaign financial disclosure did not list any clients, and in a campaign bio, he once described Devolder as his quote family's firm and said it was managing eighty million dollars in assets. Jeez. Ooh. Yeah. So uh, this company uh, is no website, huh? Nothing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, no receipts, no paper trails. I barely have a career, and I got a website. Yeah, <laughs> but I got, got a three- Squarespace, man. <laughs> oh yeah, I got a three-year-old unupdated Wix page. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing—he somehow gave himself seven hundred thousand dollars to his campaign. Yeah. So at least like that money is real, and no one. 
mm, knows okay. for sure where the fuck it came from, which is where everyone's like, are you a spy? Because <laughs> um, uh, you start getting those kind of rumors circulating. No, they're like, this is a person of influence. Like, you're like, <laughs> yeah. This guy appears to have no means at all. Uh, at least mm-hmm. ever, everything he said is fake. But he's crazy. Yeah, yeah. In 2008, when he was 19 and living in Brazil, court records show that he was charged with stealing a checkbook of a man his mother was caring for and wrote $700 in fraudulent checks, including for a pair of shoes, which, you that's, know. That's fine. That's, that's a nice pair of shoes. Look, man. I, I'll, I'll, how, I'll, I'll give him that one. How, <laughs> you should have seen his old pair. Come yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> it's time for an upgrade. Dude, I've been there. Uh, <laughs> he, he also appears to have made up a history as a landlord, claiming in a campaign bio that he and his family ran a real estate portfolio of 13 properties that the Times found no evidence of these buildings, and they were not listed on campaign financial well, disclosures. Like, I love pretending to be the one of the worst things you can. What's the opposite yeah. of stolen valor? Uh, yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> stolen, stolen disgrace. Yeah, yeah. Stolen disgrace. Yeah, <laughs> no, bogarted disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> Bummed disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> and it all, they also found that he had himself been evicted twice after decrying the eviction moratorium. Yeah, so I mean, that's classic Republican. The, yeah. <laughs> I say not as I do right there. That's good. The last one, and then we got to get to the mom because the mom is amazing. But uh, his campaign bio claimed that he ran a foundation called Friends of Pets United. Oh, this is insane. And he had saved 2,500 dogs and cats between 2013 and 2018. <laughs> but there's 2,500. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Between 2013, so five years. That's so. insane numbers, man. There was time to do all this shit. <laughs> a guy who's just like I superhuman. Say, I mean, it's no, like, read my favorite part. How many cats? <laughs> well, it just said 2,500 dogs and oh, cats. I, oh, I read one where it was like 2,500 dogs, he said, and then it was like, and like 15 cats. Like he caught himself. <laughs> 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 like between the dogs and cats, left. like no, twenty five hundred insane. Look, dogs are like twenty four fifty on the dogs, look, and like fifty cats. Look, look, look man, sixty five cats. Look, man, dogs are easier to catch. I'm just gonna be real with That's you. True. You can, you can't trick them. That's true. You know, cats they're needy, but they're emotional. You gotta yeah. earn their trust. Dogs are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you put peanut butter on. You put peanut butter on anything, a dog will lick it off. You know what I'm saying? Uh, wink, wink. <laughs> the only <laughs> the only <He> lying there. <laughs> the one thing he never lied. About. <laughs> sex with animals. <laughs> uh, the only evidence that this group existed is that he had, at some point in 2017, a fundraiser that cost $50 for a ticket, but the group that threw the event said it never received any funds, that Santos uh, made up several excuses for why he didn't have the money. So he, uh, he pulled the Trump thing. He's like, My yeah. 2,500 dogs ate the money. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's an entire ballroom, but of the dogs <laughs> playing poker. <laughs> he's got like a t-shirt cannon. He's shooting raw steaks out into a room full of 2,500 dogs. <laughs> he's caring for these things, though. Yeah. Uh, in July 2021, Santos wrote on Twitter that the September 11th attacks, quote, claims my mother's life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, we, that's now, horrible. Horrible. now we got, now we got a little, we got a little Steve Renazizi, uh, <laughs> <laughs> a little spice, a little, little stolen, a little bum disgrace from the 9 11. <laughs> like, it's amazing because that one, you're like, okay, some of these lies are either too difficult or too boring to prove. Yeah, yeah. That one's real easy. Uh-huh. That mm-hmm. one is literally a control F on <laughs> call her, call her at home. <laughs> <laughs> well, also, there's a fucking wall with every name chiseled onto it. Like, you oh, don't even boy. need the internet to disprove I'll that tell one. You what. They're in alphabetical order. <laughs> Just go to the Santo section and see if she's on there. Oh, the hubris. Uh, I'm going to propose to my girlfriend. <laughs> the Santo section of the of World the Trade Center <laughs> Memorial. <laughs> Um, Uh, It's so romantic. (laughs) Um, So, uh, yeah, he claims that September 11th claimed his mother's life, but on December 23rd, he said that it was the fifth anniversary of his mother's passing. Uh, (laughs) Oh, man. Took her a long time to die. Uh, Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Uh, It's like the firefighters, the inhalation of the smoke and everything. Well, that's what he claims, literally. Oh, yeah, okay. On his campaign website, he claimed that his mother was, quote, in her office in the South Tower on September 11th, and that she passed away a few years later when she lost her battle to cancer. So mm. she's he's he's sort of insinuating that she got you know from the yeah. uh, from John the tower. Stewart didn't do enough. The right. 
Uh, aside from the fact that people rarely refer to 15 years as, quote, a few years, <laughs> there, <laughs> there is no record of Santos's. Well, he's been doggy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's got a numbers problem. That's, That's true. <laughs> Look, he's got 2,500 dogs yeah. in dog years that he thinks in dog years. It's, it's like just... face blindness, but for numbers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there is no evidence she was at the World Trade Center on 9 11, and uh, there is no record. <laughs> that she uh, <laughs> suffered from the well-documented health problems caused by toxic debris. Uh, and mm. though Santos has claimed she was a financial executive, uh. public employment records obtained by NBC list her only known employer as an imports business in Queens that folded in 1994. <laughs> and the Times reported well, I mean, that... Queens got it pretty hard on 9-11. I, yeah, yeah, there was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. All that debris just floating down the BQE. <laughs> terrible, terrible day. Um <laughs> And the Times reported that she once worked as a nurse in Brazil. So that would be when he stole the guy she was caring for his checkbook uh, to buy oh, shoes. Shit. Yeah, it was okay. when she was working as a nurse. I mean, um, they make so many boring biopics. And oh, this yeah. Is just sitting there. Uh, oh, it's, oh, and again, like I've said many times. I don't know, like, though, because it would just be a guy in a room writing down lies. <laughs> well, it's, it's the Mike Lindell thing. It's the Mike Lindell. Where it's yeah. like, you, you'd have to, like, if you're going to do the biopic, you have to show him living his pathetic, like, normal life. <laughs> and then, like, really blow the budget oh, on his well, life. It can be more lies than the Queen's biopic. Oh, right. uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's true. They, I don't know. Like I said, with the Mike Lindell uh, thing, it's like when you make the biopic, the best way to do it is never uh, show the reality. Literally do chapter and verse exactly <laughs> right. the way they told it, and yeah, that yeah, yeah. in and of itself demonstrates the absurdity. Yeah, well, then, yeah. then it becomes like an axe cop thing where it's like a kid wrote this. Uh, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, where yeah, it's like, and, and then there was explosions! Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is what this guy's essentially doing. Uh, 2,500 dogs <laughs> typing on 2,500. <laughs> <laughs> Just a letter jumble. <laughs> Explains where all the money went. Yeah. You know? Some is voice to text, and it's like woof, woof, bark, woof, bark. <laughs> so if, if 9-11 wasn't enough, uh, in an interview with a conservative podcast in May 2022, Santos said that his grandparents survived the Holocaust, and his campaign bio claimed that they, quote, fled persecution during World War II. For a lot of people who are descendants of World War II refugees or survivors of the Holocaust, a lot of names and paperwork were changed in name of survival, Santos told Fox News last year, claiming that he had Ukrainian heritage on his mother's side. <laughs> Apparently, according to the genealogy records reviewed by CNN, this did not apply to his family. Quote, there is no sign of Jewish or Ukrainian heritage and no indication of a name change along the way. And then he said, <laughs> literally, he said, like, no, I'm Jew-ish. Yeah, that's literally, <laughs> literally said that. I'll play the clip right here. Oh my god. What what is the, your Jewish story and and what what do you bring from that to to Congress? Well, look uh, as I always joke, I'm Jewish, <laughs> right? Quote, I never claimed to be Jewish. I am Catholic because I learned my maternal family had a Jewish background. I said I was Jewish. Uh, so that is the direct quote. <laughs> when did he start claiming to be gay? During the wedding. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> right when they got back to the hotel. Oh, man, bold. Uh, <laughs> in an interview with WNYC following his election, Santos said that he, quote, lost four employees in the Pulse nightclub shooting in God 2016. Damn. Whoa. But the Times found he had lied about yet another historic tragedy. None of the 49 victims ever worked for any companies that he has named in his biographies. Did he which, lose anyone to Sandy Hook? Did he lose dude, any? Seriously, dude. Like the Titanic, was involved. he involved in that? <laughs> the Titanic. Yeah, yeah. Like he Hindenburg. Was, was yeah. Isn't it Balloon Boy? Was that his son? <laughs> is his son Balloon Boy? Falcon <laughs> My son is Falcon Heaney, the Balloon Boy. Um, uh, man, you pulled that yeah. right out. Oh, you knew the Balloon Boy's name. We, we did a whole episode about Balloon Boy you back in the day. Remember the legends. Oh, you yeah. Could, uh, <laughs> you, could, you could do a whole episode about that guy's dad, Richard. Oh, we did, we did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With uh, with Steve Chiatakis, the uh, NPR uh, All Things Considered host here in LA, actually was here for Balloon Boy because I I was saying that is the day the news died. Uh, it was, it was yeah. October or whatever, 2009. That was my contention. Oh, when it stopped oh, being a legitimate source just, of information, in network general, news. The, the death rattle was happening, but like the moment they spent four hours covering a balloon with nothing in it, yep. that's officially, that's it. And I brought a real newsman in this room to confirm my uh, suspicions on that. <laughs> yeah, so uh, now we're asked, what's the deal with his marriage? So when Santos flipped New York's third district in November, he became the first openly gay, non-incumbent Republican elected 
elected to Congress. His campaign bio discussed his husband, with whom he lives in Long Island, along with four dogs, which is not wow. nearly as many as we know he can Those work were, with. How good do they have to be to stand out? I know, right? <laughs> but Santos never appeared on the campaign trail with this partner, and the Daily Beast could not find a marriage never. record in New York. Um, <laughs> and when he arrived at the House of Representatives earlier this month, he was not wearing a wedding ring. <laughs> in 2019, however, Santos did divorce a woman in Queens. Quote, I'm very much gay, he told the New York Post. <laughs> <in December. laughs> no, I'm gay. No, I am very gay. I'm uh, gay. Ish. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's the name of the movie, Ish. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I'm okay with my sexuality. People change, and I'm one of those people who changes. And you're like, okay. Yeah, every day. <laughs> every single day. <laughs> After Santos was sworn in, CNBC reported that a campaign staff member named Sam Biele impersonated the chief of staff of Kevin McCarthy during the 2020 and 2022 cycles to raise money. So that's oh, awesome. Wow. He's like spreading this out to his staff. Wow. Like, hey, just call him and say you're... Kevin McCarthy's uh, representative. Um, <laughs> and as so best they can it. tell, uh, because the, the article actually says, so what is true? He says, Santos is 34 years old, a Republican born in Queens who will represent New York's wealthiest congressional district. Other than that, pretty much everything else is under <laughs> scrutiny. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, he was having a blast last week. Oh, All yeah. The mess, he was just like, Oh, thank God for this. <laughs> well, and <laughs> I'm not saying a word. My absolute favorite part <laughs> is during all of that bullshit, he was like supporting Kevin McCarthy. Yeah, yeah. So all these like extra shithead Republican grifters are all like, you know, never Kevers. Yeah. And this motherfucker is like, oh no, I'm full of shit. I love Kevin. Yeah, yeah. I'm a big Kevin guy. <laughs> like <laughs> But they're so tight in their ranks, they can't really call him out that much. Mm -mm. It took Tulsi Gabbard co-hosting for Tucker Carlson to find a right wing person to actually talk shit about this guy well, to his yeah. face. Yeah, yeah, because she heard he was gay. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why she went after him. Is because That's he claimed to be gay. Yeah, yeah. she's like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I will only attack the gay Republican. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Yeah. So anyway, that's uh, George Santos, my new favorite congressman. I keep it fake, George. Can't wait. Where, where? I mean, where does it go? Like, because he is under people investigation. Are, people are like, what's uh, he under investigation for? Like legally, people though? are like calling for him to resign. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. So the representatives, but many, they only have what? Like a uh, it, how how big's their lead? Yeah, like <laughs> so I, they I really can't what, afford to lose a bunch of. No, guys. they can't. <laughs> of course not. And I wonder like what they're going to test him on. Well, so, prove you're gay. <laughs> 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 Lindsey Graham, get in here. <laughs> uh, he's 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 being investigated by the Nassau County District Attorney and the New York State Attorney General's office, and uh, the focus of the first two inquiries are not publicly known. But the NBC News reports that the Eastern District prosecutors are looking into Santos's finances, including his unusual financial disclosures and loans he made to himself during the campaign. So again, all the shit we just mentioned again, numbers are not as right. His Someone, suit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's time for these numbers and figures uh, yeah uh so yeah that that's what he's under investigation for is like someone they're gonna look at this i think <laughs> they've got yeah. nothing but time to look into <laughs> the openly fraudulent congressman yeah i mean that is the one that's the one state i would least want to be Fuck no. investigated it. <laughs> the financial capital of they the fuck, world. Yeah, they've actually taken down some real motherfuckers. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like New York, that's all they do is money. Yeah. Don't fuck with people's money in New York yeah, City. Do this shit in Florida, man. Yeah, no yeah. Care. Yeah, yeah. Go to Oklahoma, <laughs> or there's plenty of places to run scams. But boy, there's less yeah. dogs. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. You know, you know, a lot of, lot of the damn dogs, dogs in New York City. That's true. <laughs> they can't deny that. The dog per capita is really low. <laughs> that, that DPC, man. <laughs> now South Dakota, all dogs. <laughs> yeah. All dogs go to South Dakota. That's what they say. <laughs> Starting my dog flipping com company. <laughs> <laughs> quantity. We work in quantity. <laughs> yeah. we, we only sell in bulk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bring like a like a, a, a yeah thoroughbred or something. I don't know what. What's a good dog? What's an expensive dog? A corgis. A corgi. Like a, pr yeah. a prime corgi. Like, I'll give you dog. sixty bucks for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A prime corgi. <laughs> This is a prime corgi. Look at this thing. Yeah, I got some pugs fell off a truck. Over. <laughs> I, I Look at this little guy. He's got no eye gunk. I, I <laughs> but think, that, but I they think, bulge out. It's a real cute. I, I think of all the business lies, the ones where he's like, yeah, I sold planes and, and ships. 
That might be my favorite because that's the easiest one. Planes and ships, like yeah. a little kid line. <laughs> yeah. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Boats and yeah. I, I, railroad tracks. I, <laughs> I, I, I fell at at Walker's and Millennium Falcons. <laughs> I sold jetpacks for people so they could go to Mars <laughs> and shoot lasers. <laughs> That's yeah. my favorite because it's so easy to check. It's like, <laughs> it's like the yeah. yeah, it's like the kid who just lies in school. Yeah, because like, like my dad flies me here in a helicopter. Yeah, yeah. Know? Ooh, that's a <laughs> that's a good lie, right? It's a good one. Yeah, it's like how many people are selling high end like planes in Florida? Okay, there's I don't know less than a hundred. Okay, is this man on this list? No. Okay. Uh, How old is he? Thirty four. Well, yeah, right? thirty four. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. This is just his lies so far. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, he's got... I'm older than this guy. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. He uh, he was he graduated high school in 2008. Yeah. Oh my god. He's in his athletic prime of lying. <laughs> I, gonna, I thought you were going to say like, he says athletic prime of life. I was like, damn right, <laughs> thirty four is the prime of your life. Well, that's funny because I mean you. You have to imagine, yeah, he graduates high school right when, like, the big, uh, you know, economic depression yeah, starts yeah. in 2008. And all of us were just walking around being like, I don't know what we're going to do. And this guy's like, I fucking know what I'm going to do. Oh, I'm 44. I was already poor. <laughs> I'm a- that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, welcome to the club, fuck faces. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will show you where the best hot dog deals in Chicago are. <laughs> you know. Wiener Circle? No, dude, no. come on. No. <laughs> <laughs> the game is to be sold and not to be told. <laughs> dude, the last time I was in Chicago, I ate at a place called Fatso's Last Stand, <laughs> and it was... <laughs> The greatest moment of my life. That's, That's literally the name of it. Yeah. They should have like obituaries. <laughs> the lining. <laughs> or just bronzed, broken chairs. Yeah. <laughs> Puke buckets. <laughs> Hospice uh, nurses. <laughs> I will say, Fatso's last stand, Wicker Park, and there's a very small parking lot. So, yeah. so it can't be. That's it. I'm going to do something about it today. <laughs> I'm going to Fatso's last stand. <laughs> That's it. what the whale was about, right? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was the working title. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then he went for the more tasteful, the whale. <laughs> 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 No, uh, no, that's too insulting. We'll go with the whale. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go with the whale. <laughs> <laughs> nominated for Best Picture this year. Oh, yes. Fat, that, so yes. last Hel- Helen Mirren up there being like, Glass Onion <laughs> and Fatso's Last Stand. <laughs> <laughs> with Brendan Fraser as Pig Boy. <laughs> Best adapted screenplay goes to Fatty Boombalati. <laughs> fatty, fatty, two by four. Can't get through the kitchen door. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, the whale was all right. <laughs> it was all right. Pretty fair, it's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> and I'm not going to make excuses for this, but a lot of people overstate in their resumes or... Um, twist a little bit or engrandate themselves. I'm not saying I'm not guilty of that. I'm just saying I've done so much good work in my career. I want to make sure that if I disappointed anyone by resume embellishment, I'm sorry. One thing is, I will be sworn in. I will take office. I will be able to be an effective member of the legislature. Uh, as I always joke, I'm Jew-ish. <laughs> right? 